you're fired. That's what Anthony still says happened to him when he deferred in opinion to Mayor Mashaba's approach to tackling allegations of fraud and corruption at city power. Now, Anthony still served as the MMC for Environment and Infrastructure Services under the new administration of the city for only six months before he was fired. My colleague, Freak Robinson, chatted to him in studio to get his side of the story and that interview is coming up but first let's take a look at what city power had to say at a press conference they called today on previous investigation i really don't want to get involved in the squabbles within the party city power's board chairperson reverend frank takani repeatedly declined commenting on the conflict between johannesburg's mayor and former mec Anthony Still at a media briefing this afternoon. I'm chair of City Power and as a board, we don't have to get involved in the, the political processes here. We worked with him very well um, as an, an MMC and I say in my statement we'll work with the, all the MMCs who come. Reverend Chikani also cleared the DA as the source of corruption allegations against himself and his wife. There are people who thought because the new administration has come, if they went there and said Frank Chikani is corrupt, that, that, that party would then take it seriously. I think they made a big mistake. You can't use false information to try to make people believe somebody is, is corrupt. I, I don't have a sense that the, the leadership of the city has got interest in pursuing matters in that way. We don't have that type of a negative political relationship. City Power handed various reports on investigations into alleged wrongdoings at the utility to Mayor Mashaba, who announced a new investigation into City Power. Some of these reports were handed to the public protector in 2013 for an investigation and were also not available on request from City Power. It will be the wrong time for me to publish them myself because there's an investigation. You see, because the public protector was interested, we thought once we have done the investigation, give it to the public protector. She was going to then do further investigations and then come up with her results. We didn't think we should preempt whatever she would do. Actually, I thought it would have been done faster. The public protector's office has not officially replied yet to Jobek Today's inquiries about the status of the city power report. Marisa de Clark, Joburg Today. Well, welcome and thanks that you are with us uh, today. First of all, were you fired or did you re re resign? No, I was fired. Why do you say that? Because I, I, um, the last thing I would have wanted to do was be to leave the job I had. I really enjoyed it. I thought I was doing a, making a contribution and I had, in my mind, a wonderful um, set of ideas and, and uh, incubating projects in the um, in, in process. and. I loved it. It, I was, it was putting to me. So um, there's no ways I would have resigned. I was asked to leave the mayor's team, or told to leave the mayor's team. So were you given a letter of, uh, yeah. you know, saying you're fired and you're gone? <laughs> you know, when uh, on a cabinet situation, because essentially the mayor's uh, team, the the maker, mayoral committee, is the cabinet of a, of a, of a city. Yes. You know, so you serve there just like uh, Zuma's cabinet serves at his behest. It's, you are not there as an employee that's protected by labor law that you have to get a letter with reasons yes. or the merits of the case can be challenged. You serve at his behest. It's like a coach picking his soccer team and deciding to you know, drop Freck Robinson because he doesn't like him anymore. Well, the mayor said that he wants people around him who think the same about corruption. The obvious kind of implication is that you do not feel as serious about corruption mm. as he does. Is that true? That is the obvious imp implication, and uh, I, um, I seriously object to that. Uh, I think that is completely untrue. Are you um, serious about fighting corruption? Of course I am. It's, it's the way in which one goes about it and the way in which one treats people that are 
um, that there are allegations against them. One has to go through due process. So I am as keen as the mayor to wipe out corruption. And in fact, I supported the fact that he wants another study into all the allegations, or another investigation into all the allegations around city power. I've looked through those allegations before. I've looked at the investigations that have come up with nothing. But I'm totally in support of the mayor doing what he wanted to do. But I don't believe in pulling the trigger on someone um, before an investigation has been done and on the basis of allegations which have already been looked at before. So, I mean, personally, I've stopped uh, in, um, uh, procurement and contracts in being um, awarded in, in Pick It Up, for example, um, right now, uh, which, were, um, which I felt were going the wrong way and were corrupt. So I've done that sort of stuff. I'm not a, I'm just as keen as the mayor is to root out corruption, but there's ways to, to do it. There were at least three studies before yes. about corruption in city power. Now, do you personally believe there's smoke or not? Well, based on my um, examination of both the allegations, which have come from various quarters, from some who, from disaffected individuals who have been dismissed in city power, from, um, from people within who are unhappy, um, because I think uh, on the base of it, on the face of it, that Sitkelo has done quite a lot to clean out the Aegean stables there, and he's not popular because of it. Um, but so you believe he's clean? He's the city, um, well, he's city power, Managing director, so let's just get that on the uh, table. Yeah, he's, he's the city power managing director. And the mayor wanted you to fire him. Mayor wanted me to suspend him up front. And if you want to, so when you ask me if I believe he's clean, I'm quite happy to more, for another investigation to be done. But on the basis of the evidence so far, and the allegations and the evidence and what has held water after in, 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 uh, investigations by Edward Nathan, KPMG, advocates, the Auditor General, he has come up clean every time. And so one can protector? only work... No, the public protector didn't. That's the false information. The public protector has not looked into this. But it, it is... You can only work on evidence in life. Well, uh, with great respect, you know, from what we read, um, you know, there's just figures that we picked up in the media. A total of 874 cases have been registered with the South African Police Service. 813 arrests, and so it goes on. You know, it seems very 813 serious. 813 arrests. The bottom line is every single allegation that has been looked at so far has come up not holding water. I don't know about those numbers. Good luck. Go for it. Investigate it. But I have to uh, judge someone on the basis of what, it, what, what is shown. And the other narrative is that Mr. Skikela is doing a good job and in trying to root out corruption, and a lot of people don't like that. So which narrative, and that's the one I've chosen to believe based on the evidence so far. All right, do a new study. If there's something found that hasn't been properly investigated before, wonderful, we've found corruption, go for it, take the consequences, follow the follow. So the you notes. support an, a new investigation? Oh, completely. I think the mayor, has a, has a, when he listens to these allegations, I think the mayor has, although I've told him about them in the past, he knows all about them in the past, and he knows about the studies that have been done into them. But nevertheless, he's listened to them. I think he's believed them up front without investigation. But it's completely right for him to say, I'm going to see if these other studies haven't done their work, or at least I'm going to put my mind to rest on this. And I told him, and he knows, that I completely support him do that, doing that. But what I don't support is... If you want to suspend someone who's an employee, you have to do it through a process. You have to uh, gauge... Due process, yes. yes. But do you believe speed is necessary to get to the bottom of this? The Seasberg uh, in Sabula Gaborda study has been given six weeks. And there's no reason to believe that Sitkela was going to intimidate his staff. These were old allegations. So the board, only the board can suspend him. The board, led by Frank Shikani, has to apply its mind. And on application of their mind, they decided that they're happy with the new study, but there's no basis to suspend Mr. Zulu. Do you have, um, or did you have, a very unfortunate or, uh, shall we say, unhappy relationship with the mayor? No, I don't think so. I think I had a, um, a, a, a direct relationship with the mayor. I, I, I think I treated him as I would any leader, uh, in that if he asked my opinion, I'd give it to him. But, Do you um, believe there's politics behind this? Because this, of course, the board is from the previous government, and that's the yeah. ANC government. Yeah. So is it about politics or what? Well, I don't think it's about politics in, in, in getting rid of me. I think that is purely um, uh, the, who the mayor wants to serve on his team, and he's decided... But I'm, you are I'm, too I'm, correct and too slow. <laughs> that's, 
and I think he's decided that I'm not the right person for him because I, I did not force the board to do what they could not do. I had no legal right to force the board to do something that they have to follow due process. Let's get that right. As to whether their politics in, in the um, city power board been seen as appointed by the previous administration and therefore ANC and therefore against him, there could be that in the back of his mind. But as you know, the mayor is going to disband all these boards anyway. So that was just a matter of time. Now he, he um, but I think he sees this as them standing up to his wishes and he doesn't, um, and that he, he, he um, hasn't uh, enjoyed. So we can take it that the, the, the entire board will be fired, including the chairperson, who is, of course, a very prominent person in the ANC. I don't think you can assume that. I think that um, that is uh, in process now. The mayor is taking, he hasn't been uh, pleased by the fact that the board has not followed his demand that um, the MD be suspended. They have looked at due process, they've come back to the mayor and said, um, uh, we find no basis for suspending him, but please go ahead with the investigation. I don't think the mayor has taken that kindly, and he's taken legal advice as to whether he should now disband the board. But he may not. You know, he may come to the view that the board, was in, the board did the right thing and he'll wait for these, the investigation to go. Well, it's clear the mayor wants some transformation, uh, a complete different kind of approach to these kind of institutions, city power and so forth, mm. and city water and pick it up and so yeah. on. So bring all of them, be part of the, the, the council itself, and let's, let's handle it and control it. That's how you interpret it, isn't it? Well, the, I, I, um, I was um, on, on the mayor's team, and that, that is a, a public knowledge, that that is what is going to happen. You but started, it, it will to, you it will started take Joburg it. Water, yes. so you are in support, actually, of these institutions. Well, <laughs> I, I started it, and at the time, I actually thought it was a good idea. But, and now there's a bit of a swing of the pendulum. You, know, you yourself, do you believe it's a bad idea now? To reincorporate them. To, you know, to have uh, these separate uh, kind of institutions. You know, um, uh, Freak, these things are not all good and all bad. I think you can make them work one way and the other way. Do you personally believe that Frank Chicane, the chairman of the board, uh, has some questions to answer? Um, about corruption? About his wife? About contracts uh, that uh, were actually afforded. No, you know, my, my, my personal dealings with Frank Shikani, who I didn't know before, have led me to believe that he's a very honorable man with, with integrity. And that this allegation against his wife is scurrilous in the extreme. And I think he has done everything in his, in, 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 that can be expected of him to have looked at these allegations and started and done investigations into them. Let me tell you something, um, uh, um, Mr. Robinson. The, um, Frank Shikani is well known as not being a Zuma man. The allegation is, again, one of the big allegations against the MD is that he is a, a Zuma man because the big contract that they're talking about is an Edison Power Group contract, which is controlled by Vivian Reddy. A friend of uh, the a, president. A friend of the president. And therefore, if there's corruption in this, that there's money or excess pricing being paid or excess value, um, no value in this contract, so there's excess money to be siphoned back to the Zuma camp. Now, if Do you personally know about all of those allegations and his involvement, Mr. Reddy, in being afforded that contract? I, 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 it's before my time, but, but that contract has been looked at. It has been scrutinized, and the, the allegations have been found to be without substance. What do you believe? I have looked at the investigations, and, and I, I personally have no reason to believe anything other than what the investigations have been done, found. They have been done thoroughly by credible people. Let me continue the previous narrative. If Frank Shikani had thought this MD was a Zuma man, he had every reason to go after himself. He has done the investigations. He's come to the conclusion that um, those in the, the investigations did not cover, uncover anything wrong. You personally, are you still a loyal member of the DA? Yes, I am. I Do will you believe continue in what as the a councillor. Do you yeah. believe in what the mayor is try trying to achieve? I believe in that the mayor is, is rightfully pursuing corruption. In substance, but not in method. Correct. You summed it up well. What are you going to do now? I will carry on as a, a, as a, um, as a normal councillor, uh, what you call a public uh, pro proportional representation councillor, and I will see what the future holds. And enjoy it on the back benches. <laughs> the back benches are cold and windy compared to the interesting substance that I had in my, in my job. I will miss my job. Good luck. Thank you.